duckweed is one of the most invasive aquatic plants in the world. So why is mine disappearing? After having my aquarium duckweed free for many years, I was infected about three years ago. And I have not had to remove duckweed from this tank until I had these bristlenose catfish babies, which I put into a catching net and I've grown them up to a large enough size that they're now free back in the aquarium and what cute little fish they are. But the duckweed came to my attention when I had this net in my tank as a little breeding sanctuary. And uh, the duckweed that I have in the tank had been hanging around without ever really taking off for quite a long time. And then when this net was just sitting there stationary with these baby fish inside it, you could see very quickly the duckweed in that net really took off. And it was that difference between in the net and outside of the net that really grabbed my attention. And whilst there is duckweed in the tank, in the main tank, uh, it really is obvious that it's bits here and there, but what's been in the net has really just gone crazy. And you ask yourself the question, why is it growing that fast in one place, but not in the other? And this is the mystery which we're gonna try and solve together. So the difference between in the net and out of the net is that inside the net was just three little bristlenose catfish babies and nothing else. But outside of the net, there's the various fish in this planted tank, but there's a huge abundance of red cherry shrimp as well. And what I can see every day I look at the tank is that the red cherry shrimp are always browsing on the underneath of the duckweed. And I'm suspecting that they are probably chewing the growth tip of the root of the duckweed and that that is weakening the duckweed from the explosive growth. But that doesn't explain why it's disappearing because the shrimp really don't seem to eat the duckweed as such. So I'm thinking that I've seen what's happening, which is a bit of teamwork. So I do believe that the cherry shrimp are chewing the root stem of the duckweed and weakening it, which reduces its rate of reproduction and growth. But as well, when the duckweed moves about the surface of the tank and it goes into the current where the power filter blows water back into the tank from being filtered, there are little uh, leaves of duckweed which will be blown underwater and those duckweed leaves being blown underwater I have then seen being nibbled on and chewed and swallowed by both emperor tetras and the pencil fish. So what I'm thinking is that the red cherry shrimp are weakening the duckweed which causes the duckweed leaves to be blown around more easily and then some current blows underwater where it is eaten and finished off by the tetras and the pencil fish. So that's my theory and whatever it is, I don't have a duckweed problem anymore. If you enjoy aquariums, why not subscribe and click notifications and we'll see you on the next video.